Okay. I got the nudge to do some meditation, bring some water. I did not get a whole lot from the meditation and got some interesting insights, but I pulled some cards. And I know that there are some going through a lot right now and the cards are also displaying that. So um, I don't know I'm speaking this softly, I guess, because it's nighttime. And I want to bring some nurturing, safe energy that, you know, you can come back to calm waters, okay? Um, so we have the nine and the ten of swords. Um... mentally broken down we have the tower we have the devil and the moon whoa my energy just dropped really fast okay we have the devil that's interesting the devil and someone's being drained of your resources as well because we have the king of pentacles reversed and maybe your energy Usually those go together. Um, the devil and the moon reverse. The moon reverse is giving me that sadness and also that, yeah, I don't know, what is it with my womb and my or my ovaries when I come on here that start talking to me? It's very interesting. The moon reverse is giving me that something, some emotional hurt, trauma, turmoil, something deeper is coming to light. Um, but that also means that you have to process it now um, or release it. Or we have the magician alchemize it. Um, we also have the hanged man. We have judgment and we have the the king of pentacles reverse so that's obviously that your money is not in, is not good or that what i'm getting to with this devil is that the reverse is that you're getting drained you're being drained of your resources um so some we need to shift the energy around there needs to be a surrender in the hanged man, and then we need to use, we need to shift the energy around so that we can get out of this place. <sighs> Judgment day. There's something. There's some something legal or something. Some trial that you're having to move through. Um, your best bet right now is just to surrender. Um, because the energies are going to shift. Um, I'm going to try to bring whatever kind of inspiration I can. Spirit's pushing me, but at the same time, I'm not getting a lot of insights as to what to do. So I'm going to continue doing the <laughs> things that I've been doing, but that I've kind that I've been slacking on. And, um, I know that when I don't continue to create, I, I get stagnant and then I get, and, and then I'm like, why aren't things moving? Like, why, why am I not getting opportunities? And Spirit's like, why are you not doing anything? <laughs> and that's kind of how it goes. Um, This is a very intense full moon, but you can do this, okay? There's a lot of heart opening right now, which is why, why as much as it sucks, this intensity and this pressure is so beautiful, is that when we do let it go, it cracks our heart open a little bit more, and... Then coming to that place of clarity...
it makes it worth it somehow. Okay, so just surrender to what's going on and know that we didn't get the strength card, but you are strong and the universe is not going to give you more than you can handle. And I've many times been like, dealt what WTF y'all, like this is too much and we get through it. And then what happens is that at least this is something that I've seen recently is that as you go up vibrationally or as your heart opens, our heart is so much more powerful than the mind. The heart can withstand fucking everything, <laughs> which is wild. But our, usually our mind weakens us because when we get stuck in overthinking cycles or we make choices out of fear, like that weakens us. Whereas the heart is like always pushing us to take leaps of faith and be courageous. And that when we push ourselves in that way and we allow the pressure to form to crumble us. I can't think of the way I can't think of the right words. Um, to like crack the clay, you know, metaphorically, but then then we're able to, we can, then we, we become stronger. We can handle more. And then it's like you, cause you, you'll go through something that triggers you and you'll realize like it's either not triggering you anymore or it doesn't have the same effect on you and you can just breeze through it. So, um, you're literally in your, you can see with more clarity, like you just like, it's like that it is like a TV with like HD. It's like, it's, there's more, you're holding more. Okay. I hope that brought something for somebody. Channel it into journaling. Channel it into holding and t and loving on yourself. Channel it into breath work or dance. Um, 